I'm going to show you how to wing wrap a bird. This here is Finn. Uh, Finn was actually the bird I learned how to wing wrap on. This wing here came in broken. So he is... I don't know if he's still used to it. That was over two years ago now. So I think it's around two. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. So what you're going to need is you're going to need vet tape. Um, usually comes in a roll just like... This, this one's from some horse supply place. Um, I've got some medical tape. I've got Micropore. Uh, it's real thin. Um, I also have a thicker, stickier one here called Durapore. I believe both are by 3M, yes. Um, and I'm going to be showing you how to wrap a wing with those. So the actual wrapping of the wing is done with the vet tape. Um, vet wrap, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, there it is. I have a piece cut here. Um, this should be plenty. Um, so about how long is it? Um, foot and a half, two feet, somewhere like that. To go with two feet, because it's better to have extra and not need to cut another one. So I start back at the back of the wing here. I kind of tuck it under and. Finn hasn't been inside for a while, so I think he wants to explore. Um, either he just wants to be on my shoulder. He has a sweetheart. So I'll pull it a little tight and give it a push. Just kind of crimp it together to start. And then you start by going across the wing here, under the front, <laughs> across the front again, uh, this time from the top to the low. Wrap it around, and then back across the f I messed up. Okay, so I'm going to actually try this again. Okay, this happens a lot. Start at the top of the wing, so I'm going to do it this time just so I keep things in place. Around the back, crosses over behind the back, across the front. Goes across the front, under the front, up back above on the front, and then across back to the back corner here. And we pull that back through. And you're putting a little bit of tension on it. A little right? bit of tension, not a ton, just a little. And that'll keep things all together. And then once it gets around, I like to give a little pull and compress it on a little bit, just so it sticks to itself better. Um, sometimes you can tuck it in underneath itself and give it a push. That holds it well, too. Um, but my little secret is use your more sturdy um, medical tape. This one is the Durapore, I believe. You can use Micropore, too, but this is a little heavier, a little stickier. Um, take that. Grab your scissors and clip it. So that is how you wrap the wing. So I'm going to use the Durapore as well here. You can use the Micropore. The Micropore is a little lighter, um, but this to me is a little more durable and stable. So I take this. You're probably going to lose a couple feathers. Don't be too worried about that. Um, they're probably got a broken wing or uh, injured wing and are not going to be needing them too bad anyway. But that is how you kind of sling it so it doesn't droop. Um, they don't like it, but it... They get used to it. They definitely get used to it. I Finn mean, here was pretty used to it by the time it was time for it to come off. Probably about a couple days in even he was used to it. But this way it can't drop down. This will keep it up so that if it does heal wonky even it stays up, so they aren't dragging this on the floor. Um, you can also, if you want, put a sling sort of thing going from behind this wing here, up around and across, to hold it on like this. Um, you can use tape, or you can use vet wrap. Uh, the vet wrap sometimes likes to slide back. Um, for this, I'll use the micro pour just to demonstrate that. So, micro pour tape. 
It's a lot lighter, uh, as I can show you once I get it unraveled. Thank you again, Finn, for being such a good bird with this sort of thing. I use my mouth simply because he's using my other hand. probably will drop things. So, got it mounted on the front of his wing here. Take it, and below. You don't want this super tight, because that will compress air sacs, and that is what we call not good. I also like to kind of make sure it's all stuck together well. So, it's not pretty. You can do it prettier if you want but that will work perfectly fine. As you see, he can stand and do things. Do not jump, um, as usual. So there's that. Again, it's just loose down here. I can slide my finger underneath it so he can breathe fine. The sticky will actually get a little less sticky because they have dust in their feathers, um, which will stick to it and kind of make the sticky less sticky. But this will hold in place probably for at least a day you may have to repeat it a couple times uh, throughout the course of the wing. Uh, and this little guy here um, was actually able to slip out of this cast, even with his wing being broken at the time. Um, so you may have to redo it. It just is how it is.